All right, welcome to this review of the Keyword Finder Keyword Research Tool. This is one of my favorite tools at the moment. It's really kicking ass for me on SEO research. So if you're looking for a tool to do better keyword research and to get to the really good stuff and find out whether you can actually rank for a keyword, this tool combines both of them. If you've used stuff like Longtail Pro or Market Samurai, this is very similar, but the interface for this is really simple, really nicely done, really easy to use, and they have a bunch of keyword research options, which combines some of the really cool tools out there I would normally use to make my life a lot simpler. So let's jump right in and have a quick look. So what you have on the left-hand side is the keyword list, depending on which kind of keyword search you do, and I'll show you that in a second. And on the right, you have the top 10 in Google, which is where you want to be. So you want to see what the results are in the top 10 and see whether you can rank for them. So in this results section, they're showing you the top 10 and the statistics on those pages. So the domain authority, so that's how powerful the website is, how many links they've got, all of the really important stuff that you need to look at to determine whether or not you have a chance to get in the top 10 of Google. So that's the main two parts of this tool, and that's really what this tool does best. It doesn't do on-page analysis for your website. It doesn't do other sorts of link analysis. It's really good for keyword research and seeing if you can rank in the top 10 of Google. So if that's what you're after, this tool is one of the best I have seen and the simplest to use. So I've done a quick search here for best dog brushes, just as an example off the top of my head. And you can choose a specific location. So if you're trying to rank for a specific country or a specific language, you can narrow that down and they will give you the better results for those specific locations and languages. But I've just done worldwide and any language, which is pretty much English by default. And you can see all of the results here. They're pulling all of these from Google. So if you're using Google Keyword Planner, this is basically taking that data but making it easier to view, making it easier to read and easier to use. Because if you've used Keyword Planner, you know it's not really very useful and it breaks a lot and Google is hiding a lot of the search data, which this is showing you specifically. So this is a really cool alternative to that. So if you look at the filter below the search, you'll see that it has a lot of the filters that Google has in Keyword Planner. So you can restrict based on the number of minimum searches per month you want to go for, or if you want to filter out keywords that are not relevant or focus on specific kind of keywords that are relevant. So if I look through my list here, I'm seeing pet brushes, cat brushes. So I want to exclude the word cat, for example. So then that filter has now removed any of the results with the word cat. And you can go through and maybe remove the word pet, um, specific dog breed, you want to remove any kind of words that you're seeing in there that are irrelevant for what you're looking for. Or if you want to focus in on a specific kind of search, you can also do that if you want to look for dog brushes for shedding dogs, dogs that are losing their hair, then maybe that's a topic you want to go after. And you can focus and see what kind of results for shedding dogs are coming up because you're seeing that that's a really interesting result. And as we can see, there's a lot less results now than there was in the beginning, but they're very focused results. And it gives me an idea of what kind of keywords I can write content on and what kind of keywords I can go after for shedding dog brushes. So that's really cool. You can filter your results. What you can also do is take a very specific keyword or sh sort of shorter keyword and see what kind of suggestions Google will provide. If you've used Google search before and notice that as you're typing, Google will give you suggestions, this tool takes those suggestions and gives you all of the suggestions that Google knows about and provides them in a list. So let's just take dog brushes because that'll give us better results. Best dog brushes probably won't give us a lot. And we'll do the autocomplete here. And it takes a minute to go through all of those options. 
and you'll see that all of the dog brush is at the beginning and then later on they'll also do words in front of dog brush so this is basically all the results that have the words dog brushes in it and a lot of them don't have any volume that doesn't mean you won't get any search results for them that you won't get any traffic for them it just means that google's saying there's there's not much volume so what i normally do here is sort by volume to get the ones that just have volume and then you can get an idea of what searches have the phrase dog brushes in there so that's a really cool way of finding alternatives to just doing the general suggestions you can also do questions to see what kind of questions people are asking about dog brushes which gives you great ideas for topics to write about as well so again i'll search by sort by searches how to brush a dog's teeth i wouldn't have thought of that from dog brushes so there you go there's a topic you can write on it has 50 or so searches per month and there's something that see people are asking about so there you go it's there's actually two searches in here on that and it says that we have 50 for one and 10 for the other and there's going to be a lot of long tail terms in there as well so you're going to get potentially 100 plus searches per month or even 200 for that specific topic so they're the kind of searches you can do and the filters you can do on the keyword so that's really handy and what you can also do is if you click on the specific result it'll give you a difficulty for ranking and that's the right hand side column here green is generally doable really low numbers are even better so anything below 30 is really good um, orange is doable for a decent website with a reasonable amount of links to it and red is really really difficult so if i do searches in the seo area they're generally yellow orange or red because it's really competitive but as you can see here how to brush a dog's teeth 39 that's not super super easy if i go back to the suggestions tab and and run through there you'll see some numbers and the numbers are already here if other people have already done the search so if i scroll down um, and have a look there's one here with 28 for cat brush that's a lot easier 24 here for short dog hair so the more specific you get the easier it gets and again on the right hand side here we can look at generally you're looking for how many links and the domain authority of the site so the da column and the links column um, they're the things you're focusing on so you want to look for a low number and traffic and whether or not these sites are beatable in the top 10. you can also add results here you can click down the bottom and add 10 more results if you think maybe you can't get in the top 10 but you can get in the top 20 you can see what page two looks like usually it's a lot easier to get on page two at least to begin with so this tool is really good you can also um, zoom in on this particular results page this analysis page and pop that out in a separate view it doesn't give you much more data and these numbers are not always insanely accurate they're just a guide for you so i use this for really fast keyword research to see what kind of topics i can rank for and to see whether something is worth going after it's a really cool tool it has a free version just to try it out but the free version doesn't give you many options you do generally need to pay for it and if we jump onto the pricing plans i bought a yearly plan you can see that if you go for yearly um, you can get it for 12-ish bucks a month, which is 12 by 12, so 150 a year for something that saves me hours and hours and hours because Keyword Planner is garbage. I then have to take the results, put them into other tools, check competitiveness, go back to Keyword Planner. It's really, really slow, whereas this does it for me in seconds. So it's saving me hours and hours and hours. So a really cool tool. It's my go-to tool at the moment. I do use other tools but this is the main one that i focus on and i really love it and totally recommend trying it out